Hello and welcome to another Lightroom plugins tutorial video. This time I'm going to be going through and how to start deleting the photos that are found as duplicates. It seems natural to assume that we've got them displayed. I'm going to do select all, I'm going to press delete and Lightroom says no. The reason for that is that Lightroom is assuming that when you try and delete a photo you're trying to remove it from the smart collection and this stumps quite a few people. They get this far and say well we can't delete them therefore there's a problem. However, it does actually make sense if you see it from Lightroom's point of view. It's displaying a smart collection and it's simply saying that smart collections don't work that way. You can't remove a photo. So how do we get around this? Many different ways as usual with Lightroom. One way is to do control A and select everything you want to delete and then you simply scroll up on the left go to all photographs. When you do that it shows all of the photos in your catalogue but the ones that are selected were the ones that you previously had selected. So I could now simply press delete and it's asking do I want to remove them from Lightroom or do I want to delete them from disk. So I'm going to cancel that and come back down to there and show another way. I can select all again and this time let's hide that filter bar and this time what I'm going to do is mark them as rejected. This is the next obvious way of doing it. You don't want the photo, let's reject it. Lightroom lets you do that. Go to the photo menu, delete rejected photos and we get exactly the same message. And all that's happening is that Lightroom is applying a filter. It's just saying show me all the photos that are rejected and then deleting the photos and then when it tries to delete the photos it can't because it's a smart collection. So how do we do that? exactly the same way as we did before. It doesn't matter how you select them, how you mark them, as long as you can use a Lightroom filter to identify them, you can then delete them. So these are all marked as rejected. Note that they're not selected anymore. That's what I did before. I selected them all and just went to all photos. This time I'm going to do it slightly differently. We're back in all photos and you can see that there's a whole load of photos in there. There's many more than I want to delete. But now that we're in there, this is not a smart collection. This is your actual catalog. Now I can go to photo, delete rejected photos, and it's asking, do I want to delete them? So again, if I let it, it would go ahead and do that. But I'm going to cancel because I don't want to delete. So that's a very quick overview of how to use the smart collections that are created by the duplicate finder. Remember it's not deleting things itself simply for your safety. It's down to you to decide which set to remove but most of the common sets are here. If you want a set that's not in this list, create your own. That's easy. We've seen how to do it. Right click on there, duplicate it. We already have a duplicate here so let's edit that. I want to get rid of the folder and I want to say okay I'm only going to get rid of duplicate photos with a long edge of greater than 2000 pixels. Whatever rule you want to do you can create a smart collection that will do that. We've seen how you can use the existing smart collections to very quickly delete hundreds or thousands of photos at once with a guarantee that that's safe, that you will have at least one copy left. And we've seen how to quickly identify patterns using the old duplicates. Typically that will be the folder, but it could be any criteria that you decide to apply to it. And once you've selected them, you can mark them with rejected, you can mark them with a flag, you can assign a keyword to them, you can do absolutely anything you like to isolate the photos that you want to reject and then come up to all photographs and delete them from there. Just thought of another one. You could come in here and simply add them to the quick collection. 
that's three. I want to get rid of that one. I want to get rid of that one. I want to... What do I want to do? I want to have everything with a file name that contains DNG. Yeah, I want to delete all of those. I'm going to mark those in the Smoke Quick Collection. There we go, 1300 delete, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to delete them. Yep, that's the job done. You don't have to sit photo by photo going, mark, delete, mark, delete, mark, delete. Such a waste of time. The whole point of this plugin is to save time. Thanks very much for watching.